Hey everybody, it's Alan Brockstein coming to you from Houston, Texas. Uh, I missed last week. I was in Santa Fe having a good time with my family. And uh, I don't think I really missed much in the market. Uh, it was a quiet two weeks. I try to do my vacations around the quiet periods. We are ending the second quarter this week. Another bad quarter. This was a bad week in a bad quarter. Uh, we are down 23.7% year to date. Somebody forgot to tell cannabis investors that the stock market is in a bull market right now. Not that I believe that, by the way. Um, the only news that came out this week that was important uh, was the Canadian retail cannabis sales for April, which seems like a long time ago. And they were a little bit better than High Fire projected. High Fire, which is owned by bankrupt Fire and Flower. And uh, so the numbers weren't great. They're, they are growing, but it, it is slow growth. And uh, it was just a little bit better than expected. Uh, in terms of uh, Seeking Alpha, uh, I wrote one piece this week on vacation. It was entitled, Tilray Could Break a Dollar. It did not do that this week. It was down uh, about 2 or 3%. Uh, I have been very negative on Tilray, and I explained again why I remain negative. A lot of people think Tilray is a great company. No, it's not. It's not run by a good person, in my opinion, a good leader. Um, and uh, they have a lot of debt and dwindling cash, and they're not profitable. So uh, you can read that piece on Seeking Alpha. There's a link to it uh, in uh, the summary of this video. Uh, in terms of my focus list, which is now 27 names, um, there was some news this week. Uh, most of it wasn't important. The one that was was canopy growth. And I've been very negative and remain very negative on canopy growth. Another mystery to me why people care about it. And uh, they this week they had a lot of news. They completed their Indiva purchase. They ruined that stock, by the way. Um, I had that called. Um, and uh, they, they also expanded their flower portfolio in Canada. Woo, woo! Their, their, their press release was funny. They're in ninth place. These were the guys that were going to do it all, they told you. No, they're not. And their fourth quarter was absolutely horrible. Lower than expected revenue, a huge operating loss, a huge non-operating loss, and uh, very low revenue. They're not the leader. Uh, GTI introduced some gummies. That's uh, Green Thumb Industries. Organogram announced their reverse split. I will officially say I don't care. It's not a big deal. I know a lot of retail investors don't understand that, but to split your stock or reverse split it, to stay on the NASDAQ, huge. Not a bad thing. Um, they also introduced some new infused pre-rolls. Planet 13 is moving ahead with its Las Vegas Consumption Lounge. Uh, SHF Holdings expanded its lending relationship with a large unnamed MSO. Trulieve appointed a new CFO, and it also moved one of its Florida dispensaries. I continue to really like that company. It's very beaten up, down about 50% year-to-date. Tilray closed its Hexo acquisition. If you own Hexo, you missed your chance to get out at a better price. And you need to look into how you're managing your money because you're blowing it, in my opinion. Uh, and if you wanted Tilray, you could have sold your Hexo, taken the loss, and bought Tilray cheaper than you ended up with it. I wouldn't do that, but if that's what you wanted, you could have done that. And then finally, Terrison uh, stated that they expect to close their Maryland acquisition this coming week, and they were approved by the TSX. 
uh, conditionally to move their listing from the CSE. I don't think that's a big deal, by the way. It's a bigger deal for the industry uh, in that it could lead, it could, not it will, it could lead the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ to reconsider their positions. And finally, they unfortunately for their shareholders, they began a $15 million capital raise. Now, I pay a lot of attention to price gaps. There was a price gap left behind on Terrison. It was filled this week. It can go down now. Uh, so in terms of the market performance this week, I told you it was a bad week in a bad month in a bad quarter. And the index, the Global Cannabis Stock Index, fell 4.1%. It didn't just fall, it posted a new all-time low, pathetic. And I'm a guy that's really rooting for cannabis stocks, but I'm not like some of these idiots out there that tell you, you gotta buy now, the prices are cheap. Yes, they're cheap, but there's no sign that cannabis stocks are going up and you don't need to lose money you can invest a little bit of money. And if you're a long-term investor, I think this is a great time to not expect to make money right away, but to get positions that a year from now, two years from now, three years from now will go up a lot. Now, you can also wait. I'm not telling you to go buy that. Um, and so the index, as I mentioned, is down 23.7% year to date. That is not a bull market. That's a bear market. And we're down over 90% since February of 21. And uh, I run two model portfolios. And uh, the Beat the Global Cannabis Stock Index, where I'm trying to beat the Global Cannabis Stock Index, was down 3.7%, a little bit less than the index. And year to date, it's down 23.4%, a little bit less than the index too. And uh, then I also run uh, something that's been giving me some problems, the American Cannabis Operator Index. I'm kind of concentrated, not as badly as uh, uh, I don't think is, is MSOS, where I'm trying to beat the American Cannabis Operator Index, but I invented this portfolio at the end of the year because I was kind of tired of bashing on MSOS without having good ideas for other people. And so I'm trying to beat MSOS. MSOS is down 21.2% so far this year. I'm down more. And you can read about that um, in, the, in the summary piece that I put out, which is linked in the summary to this video. And then I, I always end this with uh, the calendar. This week, the last month of the quarter, dead. Nothing scheduled. So with that, you have a nice week. And just keep watching the cannabis market. And if you're investing, don't expect to make money immediately. Take care. Have a good week.